play that puts it up and around into the corner. Hewitt will try and pick up the pieces, but he finds himself great work from Bailey Harewood there to break up initially. Big drive from Jonathan Kirk is uh, winding that one up, but it was high wide and handsome as the puck eventually fell back round the other way. But the Bees will be the ones to break out as they try and tip it forward here through Josh Smith. Smith will pick it up and fire the shot on there. And it's through the crowd and with one of 34 to go in the first period. The Bees have taken a deserved lead at the Slough Ice Arena. Josh Smith with it. Great work from them. Let's check it out again. It's just coming in like Bees deserve that for all their credit and effort tonight. There's the pass in there, Smith with the tip off, and as the puck fell, look at the screen here. It's not even a screen, actually. Right over the glove side of Jordan Lorday. But both those times, they've taken the game away from the Bees in very quick succession in a period. As the Steel Dogs are not afraid to throw the body here, but maybe not in a situation they've been used to being in. Maybe a chance here for Ben Lego to go, as it's going to go in, and it is that quick goal. We've mentioned it before. The Steel Dogs came out with a bit of a jump there in the period, like they've done on the last couple of times. So just 36 seconds into the period, we're tied up at one apiece. Check out the replay. Yeah, still not. These, these couple of times they've had a quick succession. Just look at the play here. Lake all of a sudden, because the beast man has come across there, Lake is all of a sudden, if he gets that pass, he's going to go in one on one. It's a nice little finish actually on the backhand there. Take nothing away from that finish. Go on this latest bees power play. Ed Bradley will try and work it cross ice, but it's broken up by the retreating Kirk. They'll try and send it out the other way. It's all a bit sixes and sevens is there. As neither side really take control until the bees do behind their own ice with 15 minutes. But it's a turnover right in the front of the net. And it's going to be one of those unfortunate goals. The bees have worked so hard on the power play to create some chances. And there, just disaster occurs. It's a shorthanded goal for the Steel Dogs. Let's see how that one happens. So Kieran Long. In control behind the back of the net. Oh, it just hits the man. And Jonathan Phillips has it at the second bite of the cherry. And uh, yeah, seems to go on the power play. O'Connor, top of the point. Again, into Hewitt. Back to O'Connor. Into Kirk. Kirk going to try and work it around. But Hewitt was sat there waiting, but it's a good step on the play. As the Bees at least break it up, but the Steel Dogs still in possession in the offensive end. As Kirk works it across to O'Connor. O'Connor, top of the point, takes it inside. Good work in there. And it's a nice finish on the Steel Dogs. That is pretty much a power play technical session there for about one minute and two seconds. It's a lovely finish in the end from the Steel Dogs as they move into a 3-1 lead. It's the, it's the accuracy in moving the puck, and you'll just see it here. Man steps in, look at it, it's just worked into the screen, and it's just done beautifully. But you just have to take your hat back. off too long. Long throws it on net, looking for a tip, doesn't find it. Anselov picks up the pieces, back to Waller. Waller will try and get it out of that corner under pressure from Tim Smith. He's got his head down against the board, but Waller does well to feed it into Anselov. Anselov's going to try and come in on the short side. Shot broken up. And Danzlov will pick up the pieces of the rebound as he tries to find Mog out on the point. Mog takes a little hit into the corner for his troubles. It's enough for the Steel Dogs to come away with the puck as Kirk will try and step in against Long. Kirk will come in tight. He'll go in against there. And it's a lovely finish for Liam Kirk there. He just got the step on the Bees man. It's a second shorthanded goal of the night for the Steelers with 8 and 56 to go in the period. Steel Dogs out into a three going on out on the ice. The players of Jazak Milton steps in, and O'Connor with a really high hit, and that's a little bit of afters. There's a well, there's all sorts going on now. said it all came from a hit from Ben O'Connor and that instance there which caused all this I have to say like there's a lot of afters that has gone on throughout the game there's been some hits that have really been on the border in this one we've now got players jumping off the benches from both sides Galazzi will get tossed from the game they're just sort of carrying this up here as Martin will go off that way Galazzi